right, welcome back to Reese's Place. So today we're in the kitchen. And today we're going to be making vegan fried cauliflower. Vegan fried cauliflower. All right, and we're going to get started. It doesn't take long to make. Um, and while we're getting our ingredients together, we'll heat up the oil. And we're going to be using vegetable oil. Um, you could use canola grapeseed oil, safflower oil, something that has a high cooking temperature um, would work. So, but I'm using vegetable oil today. It was on sale at Kroger. Um, let's see. So we're going to get started. So today I'm going to be using all-purpose flour. And I already, I, I eyeballed this, so I didn't measure um, but it's about one cup of all-purpose flour and one cup of, it's called, it's um, chickpea flour. And it's a lot, to me, it's a lot smoother than regular flour. Um, the consistency is smoother, so it's real good for like batter if you're going to fry something. So I think in here it's probably two cups two cups of flour, two cups of chickpea flour. I just mix it up together and let's see. I'm going to put some baking powder. I'll put like a tablespoon. It'll make it crispy. So what baking powder does is it draws out the moisture. I know this is a fork and people who stay in the kitchen can eyeball a lot of stuff so I'm gonna say it's about a tablespoon tablespoon and a half um, and that should be enough and today I'm gonna try something different because I didn't have any almond milk or oat milk so I'm gonna use coconut milk which will still be good. It will give it like a little sweetness, not super. And this is the coconut milk that I use. I go to a, a international grocery store here. It's called Jungle Gems. And um, so this is from like Thailand or India somewhere. But that's the food section that I got it out of. The grocery store is, um, it is divided up by countries. So we're going to use a little bit of coconut milk and I'm going to say it's probably about a cup of coconut milk and it tastes real good. It's not, it's kind of like a, tastes like, like a melted, um, melted whipped cream. And we're just going to mix that with our flour and we're going to add some water. And we'll add water. And you'll add until it's when it gets to like a battery consistency. You don't want any lumps. You just want to, to be a smooth, thick batter. And you just keep stirring. I like cooking and I like trying different stuff. Like I'll look at a recipe and then I'll say, okay, let me put my twist on it. And so that's what I'm doing with this cauliflower. We've all fried chicken or if you fried fish. You just, you really not, you don't measure, I mean, so I don't measure, it's just, we call on the ancestors and they tell us when to stop. Um, 
so a lot of times when somebody asks me for a recipe it's just like I can give you the ingredients but I can't tell you what the measurements is because there's a pinch of this a dash of that a smidgen a dollop so but this is what the batter is looking like hopefully you can see that so it looks like some good pancake batter so we'll move this out the way going to put some slap your mama in here and we'll put I'm gonna say a tablespoon in here no I'm gonna say a teaspoon and depending on how spicy you like it you can add a little bit more but the slap your mama is spicy if you don't want it to be spicy at all just omit it it's that's perfectly okay because this right here is just preference and i'm going to add a little bit more so and did i show you that i already cut up the cauliflower and it's been washed and clean And I'm going to use some garlic powder. And I'm going to say it's probably going to be about a tablespoon of cauliflower. And when this comes out, I'm going to um, put another seasoning at the end. And I'll show you what that secret seasoning is. And this is some onion powder. And we'll put about a teaspoon, tablespoon of this. this is Italian seasoning and it's probably about a tablespoon of that as well and then I'm going to use some black pepper black pepper is that seasoning that activates all the other seasoning so you need that black pepper So that's probably about a teaspoon and a half of black pepper. And our oil is getting hot. And then last but not least, got to have the Lowry's. So we'll put some Lowry's in here and you don't need a whole bunch of salt because you already put the slap your mama in here and um, other spices well these other spices don't have salt but you can they are taste as if they have salt so you don't need a whole bunch of salt or don't need a whole bunch of seasoning salt and if you are, if you have high blood pressure or something, you could omit the salt it, because your dipping sauce is going to have salt in it. Um, maybe if you use a dipping sauce, Ooh. must have been some water on the pots. Um, so I'm going to stir it up and this is what it's going to look like. And if you want it to be a little bit thinner, which I think I want it just a little thinner, you just add a little bit of water. And let's see. All right, so this is what it looks like. And I'm going to drop it on in. And I cut my cauliflowers up into big chunks so that they are like chicken wings. We'll put about six or seven in here at a time so that the pot doesn't get crowded. And 
you'll fry them till they are golden brown. And it doesn't take long, about seven to eight minutes or so. They'll start to float to the top and you'll see they start to change color. Give me one second, I'm gonna bring the camera over to the pot. Once I get them all in and then let you see how they're looking. What I like about the batter is sometimes the little excess batter drizzles in the thing and you get these little crunches and they are so good. Like when you go to Long John Silver's and you ask for some extra crunchies in the bottom of the box. So, I'm going to take you over. Alright. And that's what they're looking like. And they're coming along just... See? It's not a lot to clean up. You got your seasonings. Prep. Just do all your prep ahead of time. And it is very easy. So, as soon as these get finished cooking and I pull them out, then I'll be right back. Alright, so we got the last batch in. And they're frying. They're almost done. And so, the sauces I'm going to be using, I'm not making any. I just had some in my pantry. I buy sauces all the time from the international market because I love flavor. I love Indian spices, I love Asian spices, um, Mediterranean, I love, I love food. And I love trying something different. I have a friend and when I want something different and I ask my husband, he say, call Danielle, because I'm not gonna eat that. And her significant other, he says the same thing. Call Reese, because I ain't gonna eat that. So, me and her, we love trying, going to other countries. That's what we do. We go to other countries. So, we go to Ethiopian, Asian, Thai. Just love food. So, this one is a spicy sweet chili. Um, you can find this actually um, in Kroger. Um, it's about $2. Or you can find it at probably an Asian like your local Asian market so I'm gonna try that one with them and of course that sweet baby rays the sweet and spicy I think this is their best flavor of barbecue sauces I put it on my salads I put it on my hamburgers when I have french fries I use I dip it in this not ketchup it's the sweet baby rays for me and let's see these are almost done and I'll let you see what they looking like in the pot come on with me those are the finished ones over there and this wasn't even this wasn't even the whole cauliflower head that was probably three-fourths of the cauliflower um, but while these are finishing up I will test one for you so this is what it looks like golden brown looks like a nugget I'm gonna try it in the sweet heat just because I'm pretty sure I know what it tastes like in the Sweet Baby Rays. It is hot. It is tender. It's not mushy. It's still chewy but kind of firm. It's just right. So, like I said, about seven minutes is all that you need for it to cook. Uh, but this is good. Oh. And I told you I was going to let you. This was the secret spice 
for when they come out the pot this is a chicken this restaurant is called hooks fish and chicken and they put this lemon pepper on their chicken but you could buy it they sell it to you and so i buy like four and five containers at a time they give you these little condiment sized containers and then i just fill them up in my spice jar and we'll get these last few out I turn my oven on to 125 just to keep them heated, to keep them warm. My husband isn't home just yet, um, but I'm going to eat without him today. But don't be afraid to play with the spices that you use to put in your flour. Whatever it is that you season your chicken or your steaks with, just put it in the flour. And that's all you have to do. It's just, you just want the consistency of your flour to be like a pancake mix so that it coats and it stays stuck to the batter. But we, that Italian seasoning on here, like it comes through and it is good. Um, so like, don't be afraid. Try with different sauces. Step outside your comfort zone. Um, things that you think you might not like, you may actually like them. This is my speaker. Um, but try something different. It is okay. And you'll find out that you may like something new. Uh, so, but you won't know until you try. So that was today's on Reese's Fives. That was vegan fried cauliflower. Um, so at the bottom, please like, comment, and subscribe. And when you, if you try this recipe out, let me know how it was. Um, show me a picture. Um, but yes, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye. <laughs>